All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to talk about the upcoming free agents for this offseason because now we are, you know, in the offseason and uh, got to figure out uh, some stuff to talk about because, you know, free agency is going to be huge where people can go, where, you know, maybe, um, well, also, you know, who could get franchise tagged as well. Because I know the Bengals, it looks like they're going to franchise tag T. Higgins because I know that was someone that, you know, could have been a top free agent, but might get franchise tagged by the Bengals. So, yeah, that's another thing. We'll talk about who gets franchise tagged, things like that. Also, again, the draft's coming up in a couple months or in a few months. So, you know, that's something else. Talk about some mock drafts that I see, you know, things like that. So, um, also, I did see something that apparently there is a possibility, and I think Adam Schefter said this, or reported this, that um, that the Bears could keep the number one overall pick, take a quarterback, and also keep Justin Fields. So, we'll see if that ends up happening, but that would be... That would be crazy if that ends up happening, um, which I don't think that's the smart thing to do. I think you have to either you get rid of the number one overall pick. Well, I don't want to say get rid of, but you trade it away and get a bunch of assets, or you trade Justin Fields and um, you know reset that clock with the rookie quarterback deal. Um, but we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, when it comes to the free agents, so uh, I'm on uh, profootballfocus.com. And it has a bunch of, you know, it has the free agent class. So they they ranked him. So Chris Jones is at number one. Um, you know, he was looking for a new deal. Ended up just, you know, under the, I think it was, right? It was just a franchise tag. They put him under the franchise tag this year. Um, you know, obviously he's going to be looking for a big deal. I mean, he's the anchor of that Chiefs defense. Um you know, and, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how, what ends up happening there. Um, you also have Kurt Cousins, which you know, again, he's coming off of that Achilles injury, and um, you know, you still got the Vikings having to deal with uh, Justin Jefferson and his uh, contract situation because he's another guy that's that wants to get paid. Um, another big time receiver that wants. Well, compare. Well, we talked about Brandon Ayuk before, but Justin Jefferson is when he's healthy, is the best wide receiver in the NFL. Um, and the Vikings are going to want to make sure that they keep him. Um, and he did say, he did express his desire, at least from what I saw, that he wants Kirk Cousins to be back. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they've been a good pair together. And, uh, you know, it was just unfortunate that injuries kind of derailed the Vikings season because, you know, if Justin Jefferson and Kirk Cousins don't get hurt, you know, where do the Vikings end up? Um. But yeah, so Kirk Cousins again, another guy that's on uh, on the list here. You got the edge rusher for the Jacksonville Jaguars, Josh Allen, or as many people like to call him, the other Josh Allen, which he does not like to be called that. Um, listen, you know the Giants could have got him when they drafted Daniel Jones. I know I keep bringing up. I'm sorry, I keep bringing up the Giants, but yeah, maybe if he's a free agent, they can go get him. Um, yeah, so uh, you know we'll see what happens there uh t higgins is on here but again i said the the Bengals are gonna looks like they're gonna franchise tag him you also got the edge rusher for the carolina panthers brian burns listen you know if you're a team that needs you know pass rushers you know not a bad person to try to uh get um i mean we'll see do the panthers end up keeping him i mean i think he's gonna want to get out of carolina after the season they had i mean i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen with the panthers um you know not coming off of a bad season, um, you know, and he's been a guy that's been there for a while. I, but I think he's going to want to change the scenery, especially with what happened uh, this year. But we'll see. Um, then you got for the Baltimore Ravens, uh, Justin uh, Matabuke. Hope I pronounced that right. Um, I think I, I, I think I got that Matabuke. Um, another defensive lineman. Um, Christian Wilkins of the Dolphins. Uh, he was looking to get an extension from the Dolphins before the 2023 season, but that ended up not happening. Um, 
Then you also have Antoine Winfield Jr., one of the many Buccaneers free agents. You also have Levante David, Mike Evans, Devin White, Baker Mayfield. So we'll see what the Buccaneers do. I mean, I'm guessing they're going to franchise tag, you know, one of them, one of these guys that they have. Um, and they are working on trying to, you know, retain Baker Mayfield, retaining Mike Evans. And I hope they do. I, I really hope Tampa, you know, runs it back with this team and, you know, again, surrounds it with more talent because they were still dealing with the after effects of, uh, I think, you know, because their cap situation wasn't the best going into this year or, well, going into 2020, the 2023 season because now we're in, you know, 2024. Um, but now it's better. So we'll see, um, you know, what, how they handle uh, this free agent, this free agency and who they can bring back. You got Jalen Johnson of the Chicago Bears corner, also a free agent. Um, you know, there's a lot of teams that need corners. Um, so, you know, we'll see where he could possibly end up. You also have Legereus Sneed of the Kansas City Chiefs had a great season. Um, you know, we'll see if the Chiefs are able to retain him or if he ends up going elsewhere. Again, maybe could be a franchise tag. Well, actually, we'll see. Well, they might do that with Chris Jones. So, um, yeah, well, again, we'll just have to wait and see. Michael Pittman of the Colts. Yeah, wide receiver. You know, a team that needs a wide receiver. You know, there, there's definitely uh, teams out there that need one. So, you know, unless the Colts try to retain him. Um, you also got Daniil Hunter of the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Mike Evans, of course, we talked about. Uh, Tyron Smith of the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, I mean, listen, he's been that he's been an anchor on that defense. Um or defense on that offensive line for a long time um you know i remember i mean that 2014 offensive line and 2016 i mean that era of you know the dallas cowboys offensive line i mean they, they were dominant you know from left to right you know with him zach martin travis frederick um who am i missing yeah, I'm, well, then there was also Ronald Leary and Doug Free. But, yeah, I mean, Tra Tyron Smith, Zach Martin, and Travis Frederick. I mean, those were, like, the top guys. Because I know, um, I think, Doug, well, Doug Free, like, left. Well, both of them left. Doug Free left and uh, um, Ronald Leary left as well. Um, and then they drafted Lyle Collins, and then that didn't really work out. But, yeah, I mean, that, that era uh, was, uh, they, they listen, they, had a great offensive line, one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. Um, but a problem with with Tyron Smith is, you know, injuries. So, but, um, yeah, so we'll see where he ends up possibly. Uh, Kendall Fuller, corner for the Commanders. Uh, Leonard Williams of the Seahawks. Um, you know, obviously he was traded to the Seahawks from the Giants. So we'll see if he ends up getting paid. Uh, elsewhere, Marquise Brown of the Cardinals, uh, Bryce Huff, edge rusher for the Jets, um, DJ Reader, the Bengals, dealt with injuries this year, uh, good stop in the run, um, Kyle Duggar, the Patriots, good player on their defense, uh, Cameron Curl, safety for the Commanders, Trent Brown, the Patriots, tackle, um, Kevin Dotson of the Rams, guard right yeah and then you got ridley as well i mean the jaguars i think are um are gonna try to retain him um so we'll see what happens there uh mike awenwu awenu for the uh uh the patriots tackle um awuzie for the uh the Bengals. yeah i'm kind of just running through the uh free agency i don't know why it's like the, yeah also there's robert hunt of the dolphins a guard um wouldn't mind the giants trying to maybe i, I know i keep bringing up the giants but it's just that they need offensive line help you also got chase young so we'll see if the 49ers end up bringing him back i don't know if they will oh yeah why, yeah why do they have saquon barkley at 29 but yeah i mean it, yeah there's saquon barkley there's josh jacobs um you know we'll see where they end up I know that the Chargers have a, uh, you know, I know Harbaugh, I think, was going to make a push to try to get Barkley if, you know, they don't retain Eckler. Um, I know because I, I know when I uh, t when I was talking with TJ, when we had him on the show last week, you know, we went over, like, some of the teams that 
Saquon could possibly go to. Uh, apologize for uh, my dog barking. Um, of course, it happens towards the end of the show. But um, I know that... So, yeah, there's the Ravens I saw, the Chargers. Also, the Texans, too. I think the Texans would be an amazing fit. Just because that's a team that... Um, that needs a... Uh, um, you know, a better running game. I mean, Singletary did a nice job. Damian Pierce kind of took a step back. Um, so, yeah, I think that would be a great fit for Barkley if he ended up on the Texans. Um, we'll see what happens with Josh Jacobs because Zamir White did a nice job filling in for him whenever he got hurt. Um, you also have Derrick Henry as well that's listed. Interesting to see where he ends up. Um, I know some people are saying the Cowboys, which, yeah, I mean, listen, you had, you pair him with Tony Pollard, I think that would be a that would be a solid combination. Um, you also got uh, Kevin Zeitler as well, the guard for the Ravens. Um, again, can never have too many. Uh, again, former Giant. Kind of wish uh, he didn't leave, but uh, you know they let him go. You also have Stephon Gilmore, the Cowboys, getting up there in age, but again, team that might need corner help. But, yeah, I mean, I could go, I could run through this whole list, but I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, so, you know, again, this is something that we are going to talk about a lot is, uh, you know, free agency. And, uh, you know, we'll see uh, who ends up getting franchise tag, things like that. That'll be, you know, within the coming months and obviously the draft coming up as well. Because, you know, if teams don't address some of their needs in free agency, you also have the draft to fall back on as well. But you also got to hit on the picks. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it with the show for today. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you got to get a little creative with, the uh, coming up with some topics, but, you know, still some Super Bowl stuff, Super Bowl reactions to talk about. Um, I know the Brandon Ayuk thing is kind of a big thing just cause, um, you know, I mean, that's a, that's a major piece of the 49ers and, you know, if, the 49ers had to, you know, get rid of him because he doesn't want to be there anymore. I mean, that's a that's a big loss. Um, but they're going to try to work on, uh, you know, retaining him. And, um, you know, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how, uh, how that all unfolds, um, you know. And, again, talking about who can dethrone the Chiefs. Again, the easy answer is no. There's nobody because the Chiefs have beaten everybody. Um but you know, you never know. It's it's different year to year. You don't know what's gonna. You really don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, again, look at how the Chiefs performed this year. I mean, did we really think that they were gonna make it back to the Super Bowl? No, I I, I honestly didn't. Especially with what happened on Christmas, I thought, yeah, they're not making it back to the Super Bowl. But you know, they uh, like I like I keep saying, they flipped that switch, and they uh, they won yet again. So um, you know. We'll see what happens next year. I mean, again, the Kelsey Reed situation. Um, you know, I mean, yeah. You, again, you don't want to see that, but at the same time, they it's water under the bridge. They 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 both. Uh, Andy Reed said it wasn't a big deal, um, but yeah. And then of course, uh, you know, the free agent class, ton of free agents. Uh, all it's going to be is speculation on where uh, a lot of these guys are going to end up. So, um, but yeah, with that, that is all the time that we have for today. I thank you guys for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow, same time. And as always, I'm your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.